Okay, so your microbit zoomed in looks like this. It actually has 25 LEDs here. And the way these LEDs are kind of situated is there's a coordinate system. So this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. And just like in math, the coordinate system has an x value and a y value. And the way it is denoted is our x value is first, our y value is second. So x values are along this, our y values along this. Now here's the part that's a little strange is zero, zero is this first LED. Okay, so zero, zero is the first LED. This would be three on the x-axis. And it's kind of weird because the counter is here. So here's zero, one, two, three. So the x value is three, the y value is zero. So this one is three, zero. What if I looked at this one? This one would be zero, four, because the x value is zero and the y value is four. And this one, any guesses as to what this one's gonna be? So zero, one, two, three, four. Zero, one, two, three, it's four, three. So that is how the coordinates of the LED work. And when you light up a particular LED, that is called a sprite. The LED that is lit up is called a sprite. So this code is now going to walk you through how to have a sprite or have a single LED lit up on your micro bit and how we can move that around. So the first thing we're doing is we're going to create a variable called sprite. And we want to actually tell the code where should this sprite start out at. So we need to go into our game blocks. And remember our game blocks are here in our advanced blocks. So drop down arrow, scroll down, game right here, create sprite. And creating a sprite at x equal to, y equal to should put a sprite right in the middle of our micro bit. There it is. Remember, these are our coordinate systems. Our 0, 0 is in the upper left. So if I change this to 0, 0, you'll see it's now going to be in the upper left. And if I change it to 4, 4, it would be now in the lower right. And there it is in the lower right. So we're just going to have it start off in the middle. So I've got my sprite there in the very middle, and now I want to be able to push buttons on my micro bit to move it around. So we'll go ahead and start with our on button A. And on button A, I want my sprite to move. So let's go down to our game blocks. And we've got a couple different options for moving our sprite. We're going to simply do the sprite change X by. This is going to change the X value. And since button A is on the left, I'm going to make it move left. And so I'm going to make it go negative one. And I'm going to duplicate this for button B, but make it go positive one. Look on the simulator, left, right. Okay. Let's make it move up and down now. So I've got my A plus B. And I'm going to change this X to Y. Now, I've run out of options with my buttons. I only have A, B, and A plus B. Uh, but there is actually on the micro bit a, another option of pressing. So go here to input. You have to scroll down because it's the version 2 on logo pressed. I'm going to duplicate this. So now we should be able to move our sprite around. Left, right, down, up, left, down, right. So that's how you create a sprite and have the ability to move around with your buttons.